kebab and some make some lamb kebabs right there. Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Christian L here with Eat Like an Apex. This evening, we're checking out a place called City Kebab and Euro. City Kebab and Euros is located in Daly City, California. We're invited back here from Azadi, who is the owner of the Mr. Tomatoes uh, that we featured here before. But we're checking out the City Kebab and Euros. A kind of a drizzly day today, but we're excited to go and, and, and feast on some wonderful, I believe it's like, it's like Mediterranean. It's Mediterranean cuisine. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, hope you find time to subscribe. I greatly appreciate that. With that said, I'm going to show you everything in this video right now. Um, cool. Oh, oh okay. Perfect, perfect. Uh, hey guys, uh, I'm here at the City Kebab and Euro in Daly City, and this is the manager? Osman. Osman. Osman is here to greet us. Thank uh, very kind of him, and we're just going to kind of sit down and get enjoy the uh, atmosphere. Yes, yes, thank you. Hey, check it out. Sa Asadi's here with us again. I met Hi again. Um, your manager, um, As As Osman. Osman, cooking as the chef Vazir. Chef Vazir, huh? But uh, great to see Asadi again, everybody here. We're kind of drizzly outside, so it's perfect to come inside here and, and try their food here at City Kebab and Euro. All right, we're gonna take a look at uh, the back, the back area here, the kitchen. Hi, everyone. Chicken gyro. Okay. And, and then the, the other one's lemon beef. And so they have the formas here. Yeah. This is Adana, and this is kofta right there, and that's lamb, and then that's chicken. Yeah, it's beautiful. And this is uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah. a little okay. small thing. Yeah. Good stuff. Right, right. That's cool. This is the falafel right there. So everything's made here. And the, uh, rice. The rice. Huh? Well, uh, any particular name of this rice? This rice. This rice huh? Yeah, it's took the choice. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, the, the shawarmas, the kufta. Zadi showed me around in the in the kitchen here, and it, it's it's absolutely good. remarkable. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> So this is the appetizer. Okay. So this one is baba ganoush, which is made with eggplant, okay. tahini, garlic, lemon. So it's roasted eggplant. And okay. this is falafel. This is grape leaf, dolmas. So this is haidari. It's yogurt uh -huh. with mint and dill. Eggplant, eggplant, roasted eggplants right, and right. tomatoes. Oh, all right. So you have it there. A, a display of appetizer. Is appetizers on? It's appetizers. Appetizers. All right. So we're gonna get ready for some uh, some good appetizer eats right now. Check that out. So we got some tea. We call it chai. Chai. Oh. Yeah. Drink it. So everything you eat, it washes it down. Oh. And that's the way you have it. chai. Cheers. It's not bitter, but it's really nice and smooth. Yeah, I might not even add that much sugar in it because it really that that flavor, that those natural flavors of this chai. Oh, it's excellent. Yeah. Oh, this is delicious. And a beautiful glass glass cup here. So we're here at City Kebab and Euro. I'm here with my friend Azadi, who is the as he said in the previous video, he's a master. Yeah, he's a master. <laughs> he's it. <laughs> and so we're gonna enjoy some of the food here, the appetizers. Some bread. Okay. Thank you. Oh. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Yeah, this is, he's doing it the right way. Right way. Yeah. There you go. Okay, here, we're, we're all hands on. Okay. Yeah, that grilled eggplant, bell pepper. Oh, wow. And it has like pepper paste. Actually, it's not spicy at all, which is which is good too. It's nice and creamy. I taste the onions, and you said specifically that eggplant inside of here too. Bell peppers. Red bell pepper. Shakshuka. Shakshuka. First time trying shakshuka. First time. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get some more of that shakshuka. 
that pita bread goes delicious with the shakshuka. My baba ganoush, baba ganoush. Baba ganoush, scoop that baba ganoush up, which is the roasted eggplant. With tahini, garlic, tahini. lemon. Yeah, it, it sounds delicious, here we go. Oh. Yes. Uh huh. Oh yeah. You know what? What sticks out a lot is that garlic. I really taste garlic. That yeah, garlic, strong garlic flavor. I love the creaminess of that baba ganoush. There's eggplant in there. That garlic that just overpowers it is just delectable. It's delicious. You can mix it with your food too. Kind of mix it with the, uh, the oh, eggplant. Oh yeah, it goes very well. Uh huh. Yeah. And just kind of grab some of that. And just go to town. Or go to the city. City kebab and gyro. Kebab and gyro. Yup. Cheers. That's fantastic. Now, Haidari. Mmm. Haidari. Mm. So it's yogurt, uh -huh. mint, garlic, and dill. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna try the Haidari now. Alright. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Garlicky, lemony. Yeah. Uh-huh. I taste that dill in it too. Taste yeah. the dill. Oh, and I love that creaminess of the yogurt. A hint of spice. A tiny, tiny hint of spice, which is excellent. This is superb. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah. So far, everything has just been amazing. And this is the appetizer. This right. is hummus. The famous hummus. Garbanzo beans. Cream. Now we'll grab one of those falafel bowl. Okay. All right. Cut that in half for me. Oh, check. Look at that falafel. So I'm just going to get some of the, the hummus onto that falafel. Oh wow, I've had falafels many times in wraps. You don't want to discount having falafels just had by itself too. Because right. it's so delicious. It's so crunchy, like you said, it's crispy on the outside, nice and soft on the inside, and you have all those different seasonings inside of it. That starchy, ready texture goes terrific with the sauce. I'm blown away. Yeah, I'm gonna smell falafel, use that, um, that yogurt sauce with it too. Actually, that yogurt sauce is my favorite. Yeah. It hits the spot. Yes, <laughs> it certainly does. This is just the beginning. I don't know when it's gonna end. <laughs> <laughs> we got the olives here. Some hot olives that were, were on top of the, the creams, on top of the sauces. So have some of that olive. Oh yeah. You can't go wrong with that nice sourness of that olive. The oiliness, perfectly Brian. So must. So the dolmas, yeah. stuffed grape leaves. If you never had dolmas before, I definitely suggest you try it. Try your local Trader Joe's to, to try. If not, come here to City Kebab and get get the dolmas. Homemade, well. homemade ones. Okay, not just from the can. Perfect citrus balance in here. I'm gonna go with some of that hot sauce, Turkish hot sauce. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. It's all over my hands. It's okay. Good stuff. Mm. So this is a Turkish style lentil soup with green garnishes on top. We put them right on top, always. And we're gonna mix it, okay. I'm just gonna go for it because it just looks so, it. it looks so delicious. Yes, yes. Not, not so thick, but that thickness isn't really something that you want in this type of soup here. It's nice and smooth, nice and warm. That lentil is actually so been they actually mixed. blended. They mixed blended. vegetables, chicken uh -huh. broth, okay. it's all blended all together. Yeah. So apart from other lentil soups I've had where, it's, uh, where you, you see the lentil there, you, you try it. This one's been blended into the soup. So uh, you get a whole spoonful of that lentil and the spices, it's just delicious. Yeah, go for another spoonful here. Nice and smooth. Yeah. Yeah, smooth, very smooth. This is Adana kebab. That one is Adana kebab. And that one is chicken, uh, chicken gyro. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that presentation. It's just, yeah, it looks delicious. Oh. Uh -huh. Kofta. That's why I told you not to eat. <laughs> Lemon beef gyro. Yep. Chicken gyro. Okay. Adana kebab. And this is their city mix. All right, so it looks beautiful. Orzo. orzo. Orzo, okay. Okay, so he's got it. So there's rice with orzo. Hey, uh -huh. Oh, thank you, thank you. So kind of you. And this is chicken, chicken gyro. Yeah, chicken, what's this? chicken shawarma. Right. Lamb and beef. livers. Check that out, man. I'll probably add a little bit of uh, tomatoes. And let's kill it with oh. some. Yeah, we're killing it. He's 
This is gonna have uh, two two deaths because I'm gonna kill it after this. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna try some of that uh, the lamb. But I, you know, I kind of wanted to try that rice first. I've been eyeing that rice. Sprinkled some sumac on it. So I'm gonna try some of that yellow rice. Nice and fluffy. Very, very fluffy. Slight sense of creaminess as well too, because it's so fluffy. Yeah. I'm gonna chase it with some of that lamb. Here's the lamb. Oh yeah. Typically you kind of taste, taste a real strong lamb. You still taste the lamb, not too gamey. And having it cut like this in these thin strands only is something that you want to have, you know, with the rice, with the cream, or that cream that he put on here. Oh, excellent. This is delicious. Yes, sir. Get some of that chicken now. Oh, you know how to do it. He knows how to pour that yogurt on the on his meat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Heaven. Yeah, it is. It's so good. <laughs> There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. These dishes that we've had here have been excellent. The quality, the taste of it, very flavorful. Some more that rice. I'm gonna sprinkle some uh, Turkish hot sauce and so on, on my food. It's not spicy. You're not eating. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a quote from someone that inspires us to eat. So that's for you, Mark. Shakur. Shakur. Adena kebab. Adena kebab. And this is a this is the kebab that was on the on the skewer. Yeah. Oh, it's fabulous. named after the city Adana. 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 Yes. And and what better than a uh, master sandwich maker to cut that <laughs> for me? <laughs> And the best part of this uh -huh. is that oil or that fat dripping on the bread. So you're gonna eat the bread. <laughs> you had me at fat. And the meat, it's it's the combination of like lamb and beef. Just lamb and beef? Uh-huh. Okay, before I try it with the, the bread, I'm gonna have it first by itself. Natural meaty goodness here. Let's cheers this up. Cheers. I don't know kebab. I don't know kebab. Wow, get some. Yeah, drizzle. absolutely. Have it with that hot sauce. He knows what I'm thinking. But you know what? Other than the hot sauce, that meat is extraordinary by itself as well. And with hot sauce, to the next level. To the next level. Next level. <laughs> it it kind of reminds me of a of a sausage. You can see here. There's different types of uh, like like chilies in here as well. Oh yeah. That they mix inside of it. And you taste that, you have that and meat. Also has pepper paste. Pepper paste, excellent with the hot sauce. I'm gonna try it with the bread now. Alright. I'm gonna make a little, I don't know, sandwich. And I love that sauce, that yogurt sauce. That sort of sauce makes everything. Makes everything. If it's too spicy, have that sauce. If you want some more uh, flavor in your food, have that sauce. Just takes it one level. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that sauce is the everything sauce. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Noodle. They're crushed, mm. and they put cheese inside, yeah. and so then it comes with pistachio. Uh, dessert, huh? Dessert. Yeah. It's beautiful. Nothing. Nothing. We're gonna have some of that later on. One oh, dessert. one more dessert. So this is doglama, yeah. something similar to baklava. And that's also another dessert here. Delicious. I gotta have some more of that tea. And their Uber, you know, the pickup is non stop over there, by the way. You hear that thing? All right, we are down to our final entree, which is the another meat plate here. Chicken kebab. Take it away, chicken kebab. Kofta. Kofta. And lamb. 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 Start with the kofta kebab. Kofta kebab right there. Okay, you need to have it with the hot sauce. Cheers. Extraordinary. When you come here, get everything that we filmed today. <laughs> Still tender. And not dry. Very moist. Yeah. And you have those herbs inside of it to taste as well. These are delicious kebab, some of the yogurt, and some rice. I'm gonna chase it with rice. Mm. Oh yeah. That lamb goes oh good with right on. Yep. So we have the lamb, and we keep added the uh, the yogurt on it. Yes, that's the way to do it. You gotta have that high elevation with the pouring, like it does it. Just pour. Cheers. 
Oh yeah. This is my favorite. Yeah. The chunkiness, the hardiness of that lamb, that thickness of the lamb, and the flavor of it, coupled with the yogurt, amazing. We are enjoying this meat feast. Try some of that chicken. Perfect. Yeah, you can't go wrong with chicken, especially the way they prepare here, kebab style. Okay, so we're down to our, our last dessert portion of the meal, punapa and, and borma. That cheese in oh there. yeah, Panapa. Panapa. Cheers, my friend. Cheese. And so that batter is the uh, fried noodle. That's amazing. That cheese inside of here, superb with this dessert. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Panapa. This is a dessert that you want to get here. It's called Borma, or they call it Kazandabi. So just in case, we should stabilize with the fork. You can tell it's going to be really uh, flaky and sweet. Good. It's on to be. It's on to be. Mmm. This one is to die for. <laughs> this is a killer. Oh, in comparison to baklava, nutty. You got the flakiness of that outer crust with that nice sweet centerpiece. Oh, it's delicious. Kazan Debi. Kazan Debi. I mean, just kind of looking at it, I, I wanted to say first off, if you ever had like a like roasted pig before, the skin <laughs> oh yeah. <fat. laughs> the, the skin fat of the, the pig on there. But it's not. It's but it looks looks amazing. The cinnamon, vanilla, okay. pistachio. Ooh, you don't even need a you need to use a fork. Yeah. Literally melting right now. Now you gotta pick it up with a fork. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Sappy, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Because on the beat. Here's the cinnamon. Yeah. Oh, I, I love it. I'm speechless. <laughs> I just have to savor every melting morsel. It really reminds me of flan, but in a, in a whole different structural uh, appearance. But it has that creaminess of it. And then you taste the cinnamon, nuttiness from those uh, pistachio. pistachio nuts on there. And just a unique layer of creamy vanilla sweet flavors. Get this as well. So we have Turkish coffee here. We're gonna be up one night. Oh yeah. Cheers, my friend. Wow. With, with everything we've had today, this here uh, brings it down to completion. It's just uh, one of those things you want to have after an extraordinary meal like this. And chase that with a uh, Turkish delight. Yes, so good. Everything so good. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you again. again. Appreciate that. Osman here and Chef Chef, Chef Vizier. Chef Vizier. And you guys uh, come out here, visit this restaurant if you are looking for Mediterranean food. This is the place to go. Say hello to these gentlemen and, and the Hi team guys. here. Thank you. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. That was extraordinary. And uh, just again, I just want to thank my friend Azadi here. Thank for, you so much. Uh, uh, just coming out here. Meet us here at one of his uh, connected locations, City Kebab and Gyro. Come out and try uh -huh. City Kebab and Gyro in the yeah. city. Yes, yes. Delicious food. It really we was. We enjoyed it. <laughs> we had we a great time. It. And we're going to keep doing it. And we're going to keep trying out the different things here in the Bay Area. And I'm just excited to showcase more um, of this region, connect with Azadi more as well. So Until next time. Until next time. Later. Alrighty. Hey everybody, we just got done experiencing City Kebab and Nero in Daly City, California. Turkish food, Mediterranean cuisine, everything that was involved, everybody that was involved with the the whole process. It was extraordinary. I can't say that enough because it certainly was. There's Sean right there. <laughs> it certainly was just one of those things where it, it's not being your last time coming back. Thank you again, Azadi, and uh, thank you again, Osma and the, Osman and the team. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up if you do like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate that. Peace out. One love. Late. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a thing. Later.